typical German weekend trip. We're sitting close to a river and are eating fish. Welcome to Hangzhou, a city that combines tradition and innovation in a unique way. With over 2000 years of history, Hangzhou has plenty of ancient pagodas and gardens to explore, as well as modern urban amenities that make it a vibrant and exciting destination. Join us as we take you on a journey through the city's bustling markets, tranquil waterways and iconic landmarks and discover why Hangzhou is one of China's top destinations. Let's go! Good morning, we are at Leifang Pagoda and she represents the feminine beauty of Westlake. It was originally built in 977, but unfortunately it collapsed later. The tower has eight sides and got reconstructed in 2002. We are here at Lingyin Temple, one of China's most important Buddhist temples. Its origins can be traced back to the Eastern Jin Dynasty at around 300 to 400 AD. I've never seen such a run on the blue bikes, but here's a huge traffic jam and we now want to go to this tea village. And we were not the only one that had the idea to just take those bikes. After driving the last kilometers downhill, we now arrived in Mejiawu and are beautifully sitting now here in the sun. And this restaurant only has a handwritten menu. Let's see if we can find something. Longjing tea is one of the most famous sorts of green tea. It's produced here in the small village. The leaves are still baked by hand. The taste is really light and refreshing, not bitter at all. Never imagined sitting in the sun and enjoying a hot cup of tea. <laughs> Typical German weekend trip. We're sitting close to a river and are eating fish. After lunch, we decided to take a walk and explore the tea fields around here. It's so quiet up here. You can hear the birds singing in the trees. We're really enjoying the first day of spring here in the nature. From Meijiawu, we found our way back to Hangzhou for the afternoon. Hangzhou flourished after being linked by the Grand Canal to the northern capital of Beijing. The canal is the longest constructed waterway with a total length of 1,800 kilometers. Successive Chinese emperors used the canal to transport surplus grain from the agriculturally rich Yangtze and Huai River Delta to feed the capital and the standing armies in Beijing. Hangzhou's history can be traced back 2200 years to the Qin Dynasty. Emperor Qin built the terracotta warriors, which you can find in our video about Xi'an. Besides the fertile rice growing areas, especially a flourishing silk industry contributed to Hangzhou's wealth. The Italian traveler Marco Polo described Hangzhou as the most splendid and luxurious city on earth. There is a Chinese saying that translates to there is paradise in heaven and Hangzhou on earth. The West Lake is Hangzhou's most famous tourist spot. It's a beautiful area to stroll around and enjoy the nature. Because of its beauty, it's also subject to many poems and paintings. The internet is focused on recommending historic scenic spots around West Lake. If you want to enjoy some spots of the modern Hangzhou, we recommend you going to Cultural Square and Citizen Square. As night falls, we wanted to check out the night market. Mm -hmm. 
with the feelings. I gave you time, still stuck in my mind. Took the space in between us, had to draw the line. You come around. First night market I've seen where you can get your ears cleaned. We're on Wulin Night Market. It's a very vivid street with a lot of small shops and snacks. We just bought these sticky rice bites with some sesame inside. Let's try them. It's so gluey. We're really completely sticking together. <laughs> but nice.